And from Los Angeles, California, at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion, it's the 62nd Annual Academy Awards. Oscar Sunday, the Super Bowl of entertainment. A day when all my heroes from the year came together to honor each other for achievements in art. For as magical as the night was, one question plagued my mind for years. Where in the heck do they park all the limos? So it's 15 years later and I'm living in Los Angeles and I finally can get an answer to my question. And in fact, I live so close to the Oscars that I can literally see the Oscars from my house. I can see the Oscars from our house? Wait, let me think. Uh, in fact, you can probably hear right now the helicopters flying overhead, and those are the helicopters that are like doing the red carpet. So there's the Goodyear blimp and his friend Mr. Helicopter. Also, as an added bonus, and I haven't talked about this yet on the vlog, but my day job is I work as a talent agent, uh, and I'm specifically a agent for movie trailer voices. Uh, so these are all the guys that promote the movies throughout the year. Last year, I had a client who was on a movie, who was on La La Land, and it didn't win in somewhat dramatic fashion. This, there's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. He's on another campaign for three billboards. Uh, so we're up for Best Picture again, and even though all we're doing is, is the marketing for the movie, it still feels really good to like be a part of something that, that does so well. Uh, so tonight we're gonna find out if we are Oscar winning, movie trailer agent and talent. Stay tuned. And the Oscar goes to... I was eight when I sculpted this of clay. <laughs> Let's get you a real one. I like that plan. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so our street is never this empty. There's nary a car on the street because it's all closed down. Welcome the to Oscars. Oscar. Welcome to Oscar Sunday. That looks we're, like a barricade. We're already getting stonewalled. Whole lot of cops. We'll just go up through the alley then. It's just the old abandoned Hollywood tour van. Little do they know that uh, famous Mary of Harrington is just cruising right up next to it. It's real value. You can park in basement celebrities. <laughs> okay, so that's literally the Kodak Theater right behind us. Uh, that's where they do the Oscars. Uh, and we're just about to go up and see and reveal the secret that no one wants you to know about the Oscars. What do they do with all the limos? Uh, but tell me your your favorite Oscar story. I was, I think, 12 when, um, when uh, Titanic came out. And it was late because on the East Coast, they were running long. And my parents wouldn't let me watch it, so I was like sobbing and sobbing in my room. And finally, my mom opens the door and it's like, Maria, what are you, what are you, I'm like, I can't let you watch this. And I was like, how can I ever make it in Hollywood if you won't let me watch my peers? Um, and then, so she went down to my dad and was like, oh, this is out of control. We should just let her come down and watch them because uh, she's not gonna sleep anyway. So they let me and uh, here I am, my peers right there. Yeah. I did the same thing with a Lakers game once. I don't know, I really don't know why I think this is so fascinating. Uh, other than just, it's just a logistical nightmare. What do you do with a thousand limousines? And it's probably not a thousand, but it's a lot of limousines and they're huge cars. Uh, and it just befuddled my mind. Okay, we're coming up on it. Here we go. So you can't really see it from here, but it's like row after row after row of limousines. So he's telling the story 27 years ago. No, 19, 20, 1927. 1927. Oscars were held yeah. at the Roosevelt Hotel. Yeah, yeah. They put the stars a little bit further away and had three limos. That's amazing. And then the limos came all the time. Yeah, the, all, so only three and, and then they the just rotated. Said, oh, wow, where are the limos coming from? Yeah. You know? Yeah, they were rotating. So somebody beat me to the story. And look what, they have, what we have now. I know, it's ridiculous. Hundreds. It's ridiculous. There's got to be. Everywhere. Yeah, all there's the got to be 500 floors. limos up here. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. How did you know that? <laughs> uh, a friend of mine lives at the top of the hill, and he like literally okay. walked down one enjoy. day and enjoy. Yeah, uh, so Oscars. just very quickly, just say. 2018. I consent to Jeff Jones driving my car. I can. No, nah, never mind. No, we're sorry. Oh, so all the limo drivers that have their jackets on look like they wanted to kill me. So I found the one with his jacket off, and I was like, I bet he's willing to talk on camera. 
Sure enough, there we go. I know that's probably boring to literally everybody but me, but I think it's absolutely fascinating. Uh, but anyway, so that's the uh, that's where they do all the, the limos. Uh, so I'm off to an Oscar party, and uh, I'll see you later. Quick update as we're watching the Oscars. Uh, Coco won for best anime. So my client, who was on the three billboards campaign, has already been on an Oscar winning movie tonight, which was Coco. So he might be on two Oscar winning movies. Stay tuned. Oh. The actual moment of truth. Come on, three billboards. Three billboards. Don't screw it up again, we're The shape of water. Oh my god! We'll get him next year. <laughs>